Hey guys, this is Gina from fitnessista.com and I'm so excited to show you how to set up your Peloton bike or any spin bike at home. I feel like Peloton does a lot of things extremely well, but their intro video on how to set up a bike is like less than two minutes long and I feel like if you haven't been spinning or you're a beginner, it can be a little bit intimidating. So I'm going to break down all the different pieces so you know how to set yours up. So make sure you have your shoes on. So we do that first. These are Look Delta Clips. I feel like SPD clips are more common, but if you do have SPD clips, you can switch them out for the Look Delta, or you can get the shoes on the site or on Amazon. So have those on. So first off, a good starting point, we're gonna start off with seat height. A good starting point for this one is to hold your leg up so that it's 90 degrees from your hip. You're gonna want the seat to kind of be around hip height. This always, it isn't always perfect, so I would start here and then just kind of adjust as you go. So as far as the knobs work, you're gonna loosen them so that you can move the seat. So you're just gonna rotate around, loosen it. Then you can move the seat up or down. I know I'm about a 13 or 14, but I'm gonna put it at an eight, just so you guys can see what it looks like when it's too short. So, and if I were doing it at hip height, obviously it would be higher. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when it is too short. So I'm gonna get on the bike. I'm not gonna get the clip in all the way. But you can see when I straighten one leg and the other leg is bent, you can see that I have a pretty deep bend in this knee. So you want this leg to be almost straight. So not totally locked out, just a tiny bend in that knee. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it is at my right height. I'm gonna put it up to 13, tighten it all the way. And this handle is interesting, so you can see how it's kind of sticking out to the side there. That'll bother you while you're pedaling. So if you just press down that middle circle, you can bring it back to the center and then it's not gonna be in the way anymore. So this is my proper height. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So when I straighten one leg, it's almost totally straight, but it's not locked out. So you want a tiny bend in that knee. So the other thing you wanna look at is seat position. So this is how far forward or how far backward your seat is. And this you'll be able to tell by your bent knee. So you can see here, Bending my knee, my knee is not exactly over my ankle. So that's telling me I need to go back a little bit further. So if you come up here and your foot is like that when you bend it, you know that you need to scoot your seat back. The other way, if you bend your knee and your foot is shooting forward past that knee joint, you want the knee stacked right over the ankle. So I'm gonna scoot my seat back just a little bit. Same thing, you're just gonna loosen it, kind of shuffle it, tighten it back up and then come back to the bike and get it set up from here. So to clip in, so, okay, so handlebars. Let's talk about handlebars. These are more of a personal preference than anything. You don't want them too low so that you're kind of sinking down, rounded into your spine. You want your arms to come 90 degrees, lean it forward, and you should be able to rest them right on the handlebars right there. So you don't want to be reaching up for your handlebars. You don't wanna be slumping down. You just wanna feel like you can keep your spine really long and straight while you ride. Okay, so let's talk about clipping in. This can be absolutely intimidating for new beginning spinners, but you have these clips. You're gonna rotate them so that the Peloton logo is facing up. You have this little hook situation. This is gonna go into that circle. So you're gonna slide your foot where it kind of lines up, then you're gonna push it down, and then I like to add some body weight and you'll hear it snap in and you are locked in. So I'm gonna do the other one, some body weight, push it in. And that's really nice to be clipped in. I feel like you feel the muscles in your legs a little bit more while you're working out, it makes it more challenging. Here is the tricky part, unclipping from the bike. So they make this sound like it's super easy. You wanna push your foot down and then you'll rotate out from your ankle and that will unclip your pedal from your bike. Here's the problem with new shoes, and mine are also new shoes, they're really tight. So they're really hard when you're on the bike to pull out and that external rotation from the ankle can hurt your knees, can hurt your ankle. I don't think it's the best way to get off the bike. So if you have new shoes, I literally unclip from the bike while I'm still on it. I'll undo my shoes, hop off, and then from here you can detach the shoe from the clip. So you're gonna wanna angle it so that the toes are pointing down, grab onto the ankle, and you're gonna pull out. So if I were doing that with just my legs right now, 
could have hurt my knee. So that's a safer way, I think, to do that. So you've got your handlebar, your seat height, your seat position, your shoes, you get set up to Wi-Fi, you get your Bluetooth going with your headphones, and you're ready to go. If you guys have questions, let me know. I would love to help. I hope you guys love your bike. I'll see you later. Bye.